hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is nancy kazalika and my channel as you all know is called kazalika explores um yeah it's it's been a very long while since i did a video where i'm the main person in the video um the last like two months i have done a few videos but i wasn't the main person in the video so today i have some free time and i thought why not do this video for my followers and for myself as well so today i feel like we need to talk about something something i have always been thinking about yeah so uh, what i wanted us, what i wanted us to talk about today is the things they did not tell you about the life after college yeah and i have written down a few things which personally i kept thinking about like ever since i left school and it's just something i wish i wish I wish we could have the conversations about it. Okay, sometimes people will drop hints, but then you never took it serious because you thought, ah, it's just a passing cloud. Not everyone has to go through that. But sadly, majority of us have to go through that. So the first thing I think, okay, I wrote down, the first point I wrote down is that you will not get that CEO job after college. Yeah, guess what? You will not. And I'm not saying it's impossible to get a CEO job because I've seen friends, I've had friends who after college, like they, they just decided to get some money, set up a business. Of course, you're your own CEO, you're, you, you are like your own boss. So yeah, it's possible. But if you're looking for a job in someone else's company, you definitely will not be employed as the CEO at first. So yeah, you have to deal with that. You have to start low and then keep rising, keep rising. Of course, you know, not everyone has that kind of patience and at first you feel like you're starting too low like lower than you should have been you should have started or lower than you, you even ever thought when you were still in school so anyway that's just how life is and yeah you'll not get a ceo job so just deal with that the second thing is that you have to start low so you're looking into someone's company you're looking for a job and then they offering you something of course according to you you think it's way below what you should you should you need to be given but it's not it's not that that is where you're going to stay forever so you, you just have to most of the times you have to accept to start low in order to grow okay sometimes employers need you to start low in order to weigh your capacity to grow and then of course later on you'll just keep rising keep climbing the ladder and before you know it you'll be up there and you'll be the one employing people or maybe you'll be the ceo here and then third is you might have to do the kind of things you never imagined you would do when you were still in school so you you're out of school you're looking for your dream job you can find it one year down the line you have no job two years down the line you have no job man three years no 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 you have to get you have to like get going you need to do something so you walk into someone's office and they offer you a job of course okay you ask for a vacancy and they tell you we only have this this and this and out of all those there is nothing you ever imagine yourself doing like you can't even imagine telling your friends that this is what i do but sadly okay sometimes we have to do that we can't get choosy enough when you are okay desperation is bad but when you're desperate sometimes you get to do the some of the things you never imagine yourself doing but as long as it pays your bills, as long as it, it builds your career, as long as it, ke it, it keeps you going, oh, why not? Just start from there and while you figure out things, it's easier to figure things out when you are, it's easier to get another job when you are doing another job instead of waiting to get a better job when you have no job at all. Yeah, that's something I have realized. So you just have to do them, even the things you never imagine yourself doing, as long as it doesn't compromise your personal values, yeah, go do it. Then fourth, riches do not come overnight. Yeah, you will not just leave school and suddenly you're driving your dream car, you're living in your dream house, you're visiting your dream countries, like the places you always wanted to go, you're flying first class, business class. Suddenly now, <laughs> these things don't come overnight. We have to work for it and it, sometimes it takes a little bit of a longer time for some people there's some people are quite lucky because you like get out of school and immediately everything runs so fast for you before you know it you have everything you, you always wanted 
but not okay money is never enough even if you get if today you wanted 50,000 and then you got it today tomorrow you want a hundred so yeah what I'm trying to say is riches do not come overnight we have to keep working and growing while at it before we can achieve the things we always wanted to have and yeah we will get there it doesn't mean that we will know it. we shall yeah faith is that your situation is not permanent it's never permanent guys today is not tomorrow your yesterday is not like your today if even if you look at it today like today compare the way you were yesterday and the way you are today it's totally different and that is the beauty of life like life is so dynamic it goes around in circles and sometimes like you'll find yourself feeling like you're stuck but that is some feeling you need to throw away yeah everyone gets to that point where you feel like you're stuck but you just need to psych yourself up yeah and keep doing whatever you have to do in order to make your tomorrow better than your today yeah because we don't have an option basically we don't have an option you just have to make sure that whatever you do will ensure that your tomorrow is better than today and staying idle does not give you that staying idle will just make you stuck yeah then the second last thing is that <clears throat> Well, this is an advice we were never told. Maybe we were, but we never took it serious. Don't you ever compare yourself with your friends or with anybody else in your circle or around you. Because your journey is personal and it's unique and it's different. Just because you are in the same class with so and so doesn't mean that you need to like be at the same level with them. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's it takes it takes different challenges for you to achieve something that someone achieved overnight so you have to be patient and trust in yourself yeah just believe in yourself and trust in you you will get everything you always wanted to get and then lastly is the fact that after college is the period where your integrity will be put to test yeah a lot of times like you'll be given offers which definitely do not go in line with your personal values and sometimes you'll be tempted to take it but is it you have to ask yourself is it worth it if you feel like it's worth it then go take it but then if it compromises your personal values trust in me darling let it pass let it slide yeah integrity is a very great virtue for anyone to possess on this earth yeah it makes you human it makes you reasonable it makes you valuable as a human being it differentiates you from animals from cars for machines yeah that's integrity so you have to like make sure that whenever such challenges are presented to you you always rise and i pray that everyone out there who just left college and is going through the same things i pray that you rise above all these tests and one day you emerge victorious and then you live to tell a story yeah anyway that's that was it for today i hope you guys will enjoy the video I am so happy to have you here. For the new subscribers, please, I hope you stay. And for the old ones, thank you so much for staying in my life. You make it way better. Thank you. See you next time.